27th. It's a Saturday. I'm actually heading up to my mom's apartment and I'm gonna pick, well, I'm gonna ride with her, but it's gonna be me, her, Logan, and possibly Landon. And we're gonna go to the car races. And yeah, I'm super excited. I don't know, let's do a little story time, I guess. Um, I don't know if I've talked about the racetrack much. Um, I grew up and worked at South Sound Speedway when I was, you know, I we started going when I was probably seven or eight years old. And my dad and my grandpa owned a four by four shop and we sponsored a bunch of race cars. My dad raced, my grandpa was like, you know, head pit crew guy, uh, the, the crew chief and my uncles were involved and we had a ton of friends that were involved as well and we made a ton of friends while being there um my dad drove in bump to pass which self-explanatory you have to bump the car in front of you to pass them uh he also did demo derbies uh which are if you don't know what that is you basically crash up the car the last car running is the winner uh, demo derbies are one of my favorite things to watch, probably because it's so nostalgic, but it's also like freaking cool. Um, so he started out doing that. He moved into the bomber class, which is and pure stocks, which are you know the bottom tier. Basically, it was before our track had four cylinder race cars and stuff. Um, and then when I was 16, I started working at the racetrack, and I worked in the kitchen down in the pits, and I did that. I did front counter for two years, I believe, or a year. It was a year or two years, and then the cook decided she wasn't gonna come back, and so then I was the cook, and I also worked on Thursdays for practice, and then I worked on race nights. And in fact, <laughs> the day of my prom, it was the NASCAR Northwest Tour, and I had to work all the way up until about 5.30 or 6, run home, throw my dress on, try to do my own hair, and get to my prom by like 7.30. And I went with my best friend, and I smelled like burgers. There was nothing I could do about it. <laughs> so, yeah, the pit concession was just a concession stand. I mean, we did hot dogs and hamburgers, and um, our, our most popular item was gravy served with the french fries or gravy served with the chicken strips. Um, my boss was Canadian and so when she came down she brought, she was like, we gotta serve gravy and I was like, that's weird. And she was like, no, 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 we do it up, up north. I was like, okay, all right. And it, sure enough, it sold so much. So it was really fun. I got to know a lot of the drivers and have conversations with them and you know, it was cool. Uh, after I got out of high school, I worked in the kitchen for three summers, 16, 17, 18, no, four summers. Um, when I was 20, I started working upstairs. I was going, I had went to college for radio broadcasting, so they had asked me to fill in as announcer a couple times, and that was really fun. And then I started doing the announcing for the Enduros, which were 100, 100 lap races, really long races. <laughs> Took a long time. Um, but I would announce those and I started working up in the scoring booth and If you don't know This was back before they had transponders, but every time you cross the finish line you would have to write down the cars So if there was a, a race of 30 cars, you're writing down the numbers as fast as you can You have to do that for every single lap It was a really stressful job, but I really super enjoyed it um, They also had me do the website and at that time I was doing the press. So like if there was a story for the race for that night, I wrote it, published it on the website, sent it to local papers and like circle track papers, things like that. Um, I also did the weekly newsletter, which was in the program. I also designed the program. There was a lot that I was doing. Um, I was also going to college at the time. And so that was my job while I was in college and it kind of kept me going through that. And I worked as a scoring announcer, website, all that jazz, um, until 2006. So that was 
I worked there for about nine, nine seasons. It was a lot of fun. It was, my whole family worked there. My mom, my dad, my sister, my aunts. Um, my mom was the main back gate person. My dad was the race director, so he was in charge of making sure everything ran smoothly. And it was really fun to hang out with family there because, I mean, we'd all been going there for years anyway. And yeah, I stopped working there in 2006 and I've only been back four or five times maybe. So hopefully I'll show you guys some footage. If not, it's not really that big a deal. But tonight is the boat races, which I think I showed you guys in a vlog from last year or the year before. Uh, basically they do a figure eight and they're dragging a fiberglass or wooden boat behind them. And whoever has the boat at the end, has their boat at the end, is the winner. It's like a demo derby. I love it. <laughs> so let's see, what have I been doing this month? Um, a couple of weekends ago, I went to a family reunion with my mom and my grandma. It was really special to spend that time with my grandma. We were sitting next to my uncle Carl at, at one point looking through some pictures. He had just got back from Iowa, which is where the majority of that family lives, like a bunch of them live back there. And he was telling us stories and there was one like great, great, great uncle that was a trapeze artist in Barnum and Bailey Circus. I just thought that was so cool. And it was really fun to hear those stories. Um, and then the next day, Brittany and I went down to the beach. We just needed a beach fix. So we stopped on the way out to the beach and got ice cream and we sat on the beach for like two hours and it was awesome and I got so much sun and I just felt so much better like soaking in all that vitamin D and salt air was so good for me. Um, we were actually sitting there and I was like, Brittany, look out there, like do you see spouting? And she's like, like a whale? And I was like, yeah, I, I swear. Sure enough, we sat there and watched for at least 30 minutes these at least two whales they would come up and slap the water with their fin, or they would uh, put their tail up, or they would breach the water and jump back in. It was so freaking cool and a really special moment. And <laughs> towards the end, we both kind of looked at each other and she's like, this is our matching tattoo now, right? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so we'll be getting whale tattoos, I have a feeling. <laughs> um, Let's see, last weekend I stayed home. I reorganized and cleaned my entire bedroom. I moved my desk, trying to get the new camera to not focus on the stuff in the background. So I thought, well, if I have a background that's a little farther away and not so much stuff, maybe it won't be as bad. So we're gonna try that. Uh, you'll probably see that may have already in full face of Too Faced, because I did record that already. Um. Nothing else has really been going on. Uh, I've been going on a couple job interviews. Uh, I actually went on a couple dates. Um, but nothing, nothing's panned out on job stuff and nothing's panned out on dating stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's, I have no expectations going into dates anymore. I'm just like, okay, if they're fun, we'll just hang out. And it just, nothing has really clicked with me. Um, Taylor came over this morning and did yard work for me. Super appreciate that. I just like, I don't have the gumption to do it, nor do I have the energy. Like, I just, I can't. So he came over and did yard work for me. The yard looks so much better now. My little oasis isn't so overgrown. I've been spending at least an hour every night out on the back porch just kind of sending out. I'll turn some music on and just kind of sit there and think about what's going on in my life. Not overthinking it, but forcing myself to, it's almost, for me, it's almost like meditation. And I was telling my friend this yesterday. It's like a meditation, but my way. Because I've tried meditation where you just sit in silence and just, you know, try to lose yourself. I just can't do it. My brain starts to overthink. So putting on some music back there and occasionally smoking some pot, <laughs> you know, just to 
keep myself a little bit centered and to force myself to think about the things that I appreciate. I was in therapy this week and he asked me what my values were and I had no, I had no way to answer it. Like I had no idea how to answer that for him. And so we talked about it and my values are my family and my values are you guys and giving you the information that you ask for, but also expressing myself. <laughs> it's at this point where like, do I need the sunglasses or not? I'm sorry. And what's important to me instead of what's important and expected from other people of me. And I think that's an important distinction to make is to not let others' expectations weigh on you so heavily. And someone said the other day about like the guilt I feel about my job when I like leave for lunch or whatever and I feel bad leaving them. That guilt is completely on me. They may have like one or two, maybe one or two times been like, ah, we had to answer the phone while you were gone, that sucked, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of those expectations I put on myself and the guilt is on myself. And so, you know, yeah, I do that sometimes. And it's an expectation I put in myself because I don't want to burden them when really I should think it's better for me to go take a lunch and step away from my desk. So what I've been doing this week is taking about two breaks, taking like a five minute walk around the shop. Yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, no, Thursday, sorry, Thursday, I walked behind the shop and I found there's a bunch of blackberry bushes back there and they're almost ripe. So I'm like kind of excited for Monday or Tuesday, they should be ripe. Um, I have this, when my dad and my grandpa owned the shop, they had a bunch of blackberry bushes out back and I remember every summer my dad forcing us to go out there and pick as much blackberries as possible. He would give us two coffee cans and at that time they weren't those cool plastic ones with the handles, they were metal tin cans and we would have to take them out there and fill them with blackberries so that we could make jam or pie or whatever we were going to do. I was like, I was on uh, FaceTime with my nephews the other day and I was like, let me talk to your mom. So I was like, dude, I found some blackberries out back at work. And she's like, oh my gosh. I remember when dad used to make us pick those. I was like, I know. So that's kind of what's been going on with me the last, I don't know, three weeks now, two, three weeks. Um, I just haven't felt like being in front of my camera. And I know I mentioned this at the end of the Candid Candy about, you know, societal pressure and stuff but like I just I just been kind of trying to find myself and I got so many nice comments about you know we'll wait for you we're here whenever you're ready and I I super appreciate you guys I don't think you guys even know how much I appreciate you so yeah <laughs> I don't want to get all but you guys mean a lot to me and it's important for me to be transparent with you guys and let you know when I'm struggling uh, because you guys can see it when I don't tell you. <laughs> like, if I'm in a bad mood in a video or I'm just not feeling it, you guys can see it. And I'd rather put out less content and be myself than to force myself to film something just because I feel like I have to stick to a schedule. You know? Alright guys, I think that's, I'm going to wrap it up for now, and I will see you soon. Make it into that second spot, quickly moving up there is Bellis. And he brings it out of third number four, checkered play.
guys. Uh, today is Saturday, August 3rd. Apparently I only vlog on the weekends now. I don't know. <laughs> I just never get my camera out anymore. Um, we're out in the backyard. There's Harriet. And Athena's over there. So we hang out here a little bit. Well, I hang out here more than I allow them to. Um, I let them out for about half an hour a day, maybe 45 minutes. Right, sis? Uh, uh, Harriet decided she was done already. <laughs> she, when I opened the door, she ran inside, so. <laughs> maybe she's not done. Now she's crying. What, sis? You ran inside. Okay. <laughs> Did you not want to go inside? Yeah. Let's go find Feeny. There it is. <laughs> Sister, we can barely see you. I hear you. <laughs> What are we doing? You gonna go crazy? Okay, so this is what it would look like when I first wake up. Fellas, taking applications for cat dad. Just kidding, <laughs> not doing that. Um, yeah, so this is what I do. I sit out in the backyard for at least an hour a day. Try to let the cats come hang out. The yard is fenced. They're hopefully going to the vet next week. I haven't got a confirmation on what day works best for the vet. What, babe? What are you doing, babe? So, um, yeah, they should be going next week. They need to get spayed. Uh, they need to get flea meds, uh, probably microchipped, just in case. I keep a good eye on them when I'm out here, but they could get scared and run away. The other night was the first time that a super loud car went by and they both hid under this bush over here. <laughs> that was a little difficult to get them out of, but yeah. Um, tonight Brittany is supposed to come over, we're supposed to have a fire, but we've both had really rough weeks, so I don't know if that'll happen. This week has just been really stressful, it's, there's a lot going on at work, um, my boss was gone last week, he was gone Thursday and Friday of last week, and then this, just last week, um, we had one guy gone from night shift, so my day shift guy was on night shift, so it was just me the boss and one other guy in the shop all week well the other guy called in sick on Friday um, his back went out and so it was just me and the boss yesterday all day long until like 3 30 so that was not fun and the boss is sick he got some sort of like cold or something on the flight which he gave me because I woke up this morning not being able to breathe through my nose so that was fun uh, we, we work in such a small area that it's bound to happen because it's just the two of us in, in this small office. Whoa, four big sneezes in a row. Maybe mine's just allergies. Um, but last night we came out here and I was the last one in the house and I usually leave the door unlocked because I come out here quite, a, quite often, like at least once a night, if not twice. And so I have my phone and my big I didn't bring it out this time my big water cup my big purple bubble water cup and I had the cats and we went outside and when I went to go back in to get my water cup or oh gosh what did I go back in what did I try to go back in for I had my water cup because that was the only things I had my phone and my water cup I don't know I checked the door doesn't matter 
it was locked. I was like, shit. Um, I didn't have my keys with me. And so I texted my roommate. I was like, help, we got locked outside. No answer after 10 minutes. So I called him. No answer. Because he's in the house. I waited another 10 minutes and I called him. No answer. I tried the doorbell. I can't get to his window, so I couldn't knock on his window. I can't crawl in any of the windows because they're high off the ground. Like, can you see how high the windows are off the ground? Plus, the one in my bedroom is super small and it's locked as well. So, I finally had to call my boss slash landlord and he came over and unlocked the door for me. So, I will be, uh, that's the second or third time I've got locked out because I just didn't, the first two times I was with Xavier and we just didn't check and so we got locked out and the very first time Michael was in the, my roommate was in the kitchen and the second time we had to call and call and call and he finally woke up to let us in. So I'm irresponsible, but I will be getting a hidey key today. <laughs> that's one of my uh, goals for the day. So yeah, that was fun. So we were locked out for like an hour and 10 minutes or so. Not a huge deal, but like trying to keep them entertained out here. Like Harriet kept jumping at the door cause she wanted to go back inside. Um, but Athena loves being out here. She loves exploring as you can tell cause she's over in the jungle. What's going on over there sister? I call them sister, babe, sis, sissy. I don't know, it's just lingo from when I was growing up. Thaney, where'd you go? Boom. What are you doing, sis? Are you being crazy? How about you, what are you doing? Harriet, Harriet. You gonna try to go back inside? Doors open a little if you want to go. Meow. 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 What are you guys doing over here? Harriet, where'd you go? Oh, there her is. Hi, Harriet. Meow. Harriet, who are you looking at? There's sister. <laughs> Hi, baby. Beanie, what are you doing? You want pets too? Yeah. Now we're under the desk. Oh no, we're under the desk. Anyway, uh, we haven't done anything today. We went outside for a while. Um, I played some video games. Well, one video game I played uh, Far Cry 5. Ooh. Actually, you'll probably see that video for that before you see this. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what I get up to. Um, it's now like 3.30 and I've wasted the entire day. So I'm going to get off my ass. I just picked up my room a little bit. I started my laundry. Oh, I was going to shower, but I just started my laundry. So that's really stupid. Maybe I'll organize my makeup because it's a mess. It just needs like put back from the week of putting makeup on. There we go. That's a little bit better. 
yeah so anyway that's that's what we're gonna do and then um Brittany's coming over in a little bit and we're gonna have a girls night hopefully outside where I'm hoping that we're gonna have a fire so uh so we're at the vet we got Harriet Athena is with the vet right now and she's getting her flea meds and some shots some booster shots and then in a few weeks they'll have to get fixed Harriet are you a fan of the vet no she's not <laughs> she turned her back on me she hates me I, what's a cat mom to do you gotta take him to the vet so it's gonna cost me a lot <laughs> but I gotta take care of my babies Okay guys, uh, I'm sitting waiting for my breakfast on Fridays. I usually get my boss and I breakfast just cause it's nice of me, I guess. But I wanna finish up this vlog cause I'm gonna probably edit it tonight or tomorrow morning. It is Friday, August 9th. Um, I just don't do much anymore, you guys. I just, I come home and I play video games and play with my cats. Uh, I took them to the vet yesterday, which you saw a little bit of. They are doing great. Um, Harriet is about a pound and a half bigger than Athena, which I think is hilarious. Hey guys, so I kind of wanted to um, wrap up this vlog. I'm out behind my work and this is kind of like my chill spot. Um, this is very uncomfortable. I usually just sit facing this way. Um, you can see I've kind of made a trail back there. I kind of just come out here once or twice a day and take a walk around the shop and just kind of decompress because life can be stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't been vlogging very much. I just frankly don't pull my camera out. When I'm with my friends, I just don't. And like after work, I kind of go home and play with my cats and play video games <laughs> you know um, I don't I don't like pulling my camera out to vlog in public it makes me uncomfortable and I don't want to make anyone else uncomfortable and then when I'm around my friends it's the same thing I I don't want to make them uncomfortable by having a camera in their face constantly and so my vlogs are mostly car vlogs you guys know that but even the car vlogs I haven't haven't been doing, I haven't been recording them. Um, I just don't have much to say lately. I'm just content with where I'm at in my life. And yeah, I'm, I was looking at my calendar today and I'm four months off my meds today. And I feel probably the most emotionally stable I've ever felt. And I feel, I feel like I'm in a good place. And I, I asked my friend today, I was like, Look, I know this is a personal thing, but like, I feel like I'm more stable. You know me probably best. Um, you and Brittany probably know me best. Like, do you think I'm better? And they said, yeah. Uh, but th they also said, what's important is do you feel better? And I really do. I feel a lot better. I still have my days. There's still days where I like I went two weeks without crying and then one day I just lost it. I cried for like 45 minutes straight and that's okay sometimes. I had had a very stressful week. A big event happened in my life that I, I'm unfortunately not gonna talk about with you guys. And it, it's not that big a deal, believe me. But to me it was. And I just, I lost it. But I feel, like I'm a lot more stable than I used to be. And I get, I know, I can like recognize when I'm about to spiral or I'm starting to spiral. And I can do my best to pick up there instead of let myself go down. And I also started cutting some certain, certain people out of my life that were not, they weren't adding anything to my life. They were just taking up space, taking up my time, and I just didn't need them. I didn't need them in my life. And so it's opened up a lot of more a lot more free time, which I I probably should use to record or edit videos, but 
that also hasn't been a priority for me and I do apologize for that because I, I especially this week I did three videos last week and then this week today is um, the 9th of August this week there was nothing because last weekend I was too busy having fun to record anything I usually spend like Saturday and I record three or four videos so that I have stuff for the week and you know I just It's not that, I don't want you guys to think that the channel's not a priority to me because I do really enjoy it, but I'm, I'm gonna step back a little bit and not put so much content out that I'm not proud of. Um, I don't pay attention to a lot of the uh, logistics and analytics for my channel. I don't know what my sub count is right now. You know, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't look at the views. Um, I'll mostly check con uh, comments like the first maybe two three hours and then I don't go back and check those comments usually Unless I get like a notification and I feel like I need to address something and so Please don't take it personal if you're not getting like hearted from me or replied from me on a comment Sometimes I just don't see them. I just plain don't see them and I just need to make sure I'm putting stuff out that I'm proud of um, for instance, I did get an email from <laughs> YouTube does this. They send you emails and they're like, hey, this video is not performing as well as these other videos. Maybe you did something wrong. Well, my virginity video, the, uh, the candid candy, did really poorly compared to some of my other videos. And so YouTube pointed it out, so I went and looked at it. But I'm very, like, happy with what I said in that. I, I stand behind what I said in that and I was proud of that video and so it didn't matter to me so it's that's what I want on my channel is to be proud of everything that I'm putting out and there are some like um, promotional videos coming out soon and I try not to do too many of those because unless I believe in the product I don't stand behind that and so I just, I turn a lot of those down because they just don't fit into my life. And you guys know that the channel is my life. And especially if you're watching these vlogs because the vlogs are probably the most boring videos on my channel. But I do thank all of you for watching and you truly do mean the world to me. Ooh, girl, calm it down. I just want you guys to know that you're special to me and even when I'm not putting content out, I am thinking about the channel and I'm thinking about ways to encourage, enlighten, educate, entertain. That's what I'm thinking about all the time for you guys. So that's it. <laughs> that's the end of this vlog. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.